Hello, and welcome to Nikkor Store's Black Friday announcement video. I'm sure by now all of our wonderful viewers are being tastelessly inundated in Black Friday deals, specials, and advertisements. So I will get straight to the point. All of the lights that we are featuring for our Black Friday sale have an 1800 Lumen Max Turbo. They are relatively older models which we are doing a blowout sale for Black Friday. Remember, these coupons work both Thursday and Friday. Stay tuned for our Cyber Monday deals if you are interested in our newer Nikkor models. First, the P12 GTS. The P12 GTS has an 1800 lumen max and is capable of 247 yards of beam throw. It has 5 brightness levels as well as strobe, beacon, and SOS. It has a tactical 2 stage tail switch and a side switch to change modes direct turbo access and direct ultra low, mode memory, non linear strobe frequency, double layer tube design for rigidity and strength, battery power and charging indicator, and it accepts 18650 batteries or two CR123As in series. It is a classic straight 1 inch tube diameter, so it is great for mounting, and it can be yours on Black Friday for 30% off. But let's say you want everything the P12 GTS has, but you also want it to be USB rechargeable. That's right. It still has an 1800 lumen max capable of 247 yards of beam throw, five brightness levels, as well as strobe beacon and SOS, a tactical two stage tail switch, a side switch to change modes, direct turbo access, direct low mode memory, nonlinear strobe frequency, double layer tube design for rigidity and strength, battery power and charging indicator, and accepts 18650 batteries, as well as two CR123As in series, classic straight one inch tube diameter, so it's great for mounting, and it comes with a NL1835HP rechargeable battery, as well as an integrally waterproof micro USB charging port. That would be the MH12 GTS, which is also 30% off for Black Friday. I have already repeated it twice, so I'm not going to. But if you want all of the features of the P12 GTS, as well as the MH12 GTS, but you want extra throw, 332 yards of max beam throw. The MH25 GTS is the MH12 GTS with a larger bell shape reflector, which gives you that sweet, sweet beam throw. And it is also 30% off for Black Friday. The P22R is the newest one on this list, so it has a few more bells and whistles. An 1800 lumen max with 286 yards of beam throw, four brightness settings and strobe mode, a tactical two-stage tail switch, and a mode pedal featuring Nikkor's patented strobe-ready technology. A USB-C fast charging port and comes with an NL1835HP high-performance battery, as well as an NTH20 polymer holster. It has a steel bezel with three silicone nitrided inlays, and it can be yours for 30% off this Thursday and Friday for our Black Friday sale. Finally, the Nikkor P18. You either love it or hate it. It has a non-traditional shape, but it is our most compact tactical 1800 lumen flashlight. It is milled from a single piece of die cast aluminum, giving it a sturdy unibody shape. It has 1800 lumen max that can reach 199 yards of throw, five brightness settings as well as strobe, SOS, and beacon, as well as a secondary auxiliary red light. It comes with a special IMR18650 rechargeable battery. It has a pronounced rectangular tactical switch, which is silent, and a side switch for changing modes. It can also be yours for 30% off this Thursday and Friday for our Black Friday sale. But for those of you who have stayed, it's story time. All of the lights we are featuring for sale on Black Friday happen to have an 1800 lumen turbo. So, for the first time, I will be doing a century breakdown. The 18th century breakdown. <sighs> In 1705, George Friedrich Handel premieres his first opera, Almira. For those of you who are not classical music enthusiasts, Handel is most famous for the choral work Messiah, which goes, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if I sing the last syllable of this video, we'll probably get a copyright strike. 1710, the world's first copyright legislation, Britain's statute of Anne takes effect. 300 years in the future, Disney will be using the same line of legalese to issue cease and desist letters to teenage girls who want to sell inappropriate drawings of Disney princes on their DeviantArt accounts. 1715, Pope Clement XI declares Catholicism and Confucianism incompatible. Six years later, in 1721, Emperor Kangxi bans Christian missionaries because of Pope Clement XI's decree, citing Confucian say that what good for goes, also good for 1723, slavery is abolished in Russia. Peter the Great converts household slaves into house serfs. The semantic change prompts the biggest recorded collective eye roll in the history of mankind, as millions of serfs sarcastically say, Da, you say is different. I have no choice. 1738, Pope Clement XII issues Eminenti Apostolatus, prohibiting Catholics from becoming Freemasons, which prompted Jesus to say, Wait, I have to charge for carpentry now? That was a double pun. 1740 to 1741, the famine in Ireland kills 10% of the population, and 300 years later, they have yet to hear a decent original potato joke. I've got one. My roommate is a know-it-all and told me that onions are the only vegetables that can make you cry, so I threw a potato at his balls. He cried like a bitch. 
1760, George III becomes King of Britain. 1765, the Stamp Act is introduced to American colonies by British Parliament. This is called foreshadowing. Well, actually, it's taxation without representation, but you know what I mean. 1769, Spanish missionaries established the first 21 missions in California, but they never beat it on legendary difficulty, so it doesn't count. 1770, the Boston Massacre. 1773, the Boston Tea Party. And finally, the greatest event of the 18th century. In 1776, the United States Declaration of Independence is adopted by the Continental Congress in Philadelphia. In 1787, the United States Constitution is written in Philadelphia, and in 200 years later, people will look at this document and words such as shall not be infringed and think what in the devil do they mean by this? 1793, Upper Canada bans slavery, proving that even the best of people like abolitionists skip leg day. 1795, King Kamehameha I of the island of Hawaii defeats the Oahuans at the Battle of Nuaua'u by forming his hands into a Pac-Man shape and slowly saying his name with increasing ferocity until he shot out a giant laser beam from his palms. Which brings us neatly to the end of the 18th century. 1800. That concludes Nikor's Black Friday announcement video as well as our 18th century breakdown. If you would like to stay up to date on new future product releases from Nikor as well as sales videos such as this, please consider subscribing to Nikor Store's YouTube channel. And thank you.